Hey everybody, G Bear here. Hey, I, like I said, I was going to build another one of those antennas. Well, to, that's what I did today. And um, you can see a bunch of different parts here. I might go over those if I have enough time in this video, but I'm going to try to get through it quickly. Uh, some of the things you need to know is this is RG6, and this is uh, this is for TV, cable, internet, whatever. This is RG59. See how skinny it is compared to this one? See the difference? Well, RG59 can be used for, for TV, but uh, you're going to get a, a, a little lo signal loss on there. That's actually better for uh, radio and, and things like that. You don't want to use it on, on a good TV signal. I'm sorry, right in the middle of the busy day here, and um, I'm in the airport path. We got planes coming over every couple minutes, so I hope that doesn't bother you. Some of the other things you want to know is there are different parts, like these are splitters. Okay, this is so that you can have one, t one antenna coming in and then two TVs running off of it. And same thing with this one. You got one antenna coming in or one in and two outs. This one here is a combiner. Okay, this will give you set set one, set two, UHF, VHF, FM. So this one has a, a little bit different guts on the inside. We won't go into that. These are just uh, joiners or, uh, or splicers where you can connect two wires together to get a longer wire. Uh, not recommended that you do too much of that. The more connections that you have in line when you're putting a, a TV antenna in, the more signal you lose down the line. And granted, it's not much. It's like uh, 0.15 uh, dB. But uh, every time you make a connection like that, you're losing that much. Anyway, these are, this one here is for uh, satellite. And this is a minus 11 dB per connection. This little thing right here is because a lot of people laugh when I tell them this. But uh, uh, if you have a splitter like this in your line, and you're only running one TV off of it, the other outlet right there actually leaks signal. <laughs> yeah, it leaks it off into the air. And that could interrupt with uh, airplane communications and things like that. So this little thing is a terminator. You put them on the one that you're not using so you don't leak signal out. All right, these others here are all for cable TV and that stuff. We won't go into that right now. These, these are tools for um, working on the wires. These are crimpers, uh, I'm sorry, compressors. And these are the compressor type uh, fittings, uh, type F fittings that we use. And uh, the rest of it is just my tools. This is a little item I made for my shack out in the desert. Um, because I'm going to be running a 12 volt TV off of it, this will connect to the solar. And for right now, for testing, I made this little patch cable with two male connectors on it. And one male goes through here so that I can connect my TV up with a short patch cord. That's going to disconnect when I get out there and I'll be running a, a fresh wire like this in. I'll put a new male connector on there and go straight into there with the, the male connector. I could also just come right through that hole in there and go straight to the TV. Um, I'm sorry, this is a female connector. Um, and put a male connector on there and, and hook that directly to the TV. And I'll have an unsightly cord coming out of the wall, but I'm going to have one anyway. What difference does it make, right? Okay, here's another little thing. This is a ballon. And this is a real old inside, interior ballon. And uh, I had it taken apart here, but... Uh, Let's see if I can get open. Yeah. Okay. If you look inside here, let me see if I can get that to focus a little bit. You can almost see how the wiring is, but right underneath this metal plate right here, there's a, a little ring with um, wires wrapped around it. That's primary and secondary. So that's, that gives you your uh, 75, 300 ohm dis distance right here. What it says on the back of this. That's a really old and it's interior use only and it's plug-on type. Not really good. Now this is a diplexer and this one here actually says right on it not to be used for cable TV splitter. And what this does is you, ha you have two antennas come in. One he here and one here on the end. And then one wire comes off and there goes to your TV set. So you have two separate antennas not going through a splitter. Because if you do that, 
one antenna could interrupt what the signal from the other antenna is doing. So you actually want to um, do it this way. And um, you put your UHF on one and your VHF on the other. And your two antennas are combined when they come out and go to your TV. All right. Here's my original antenna, the one I first built. And uh, this one, is the, the back deflector screen on here is 30 inch by 40 inch tall. And um, you saw that one work. I set that one all up. Well, I have a secondary um, position out there in the desert I want to put another antenna out to. So I made another one. And uh, here we go right here. Now this one is 16 by 30, 16 wide by 30 tall. And I did a little bit of modifications on the front end of it. I hope I can get here without getting the sun too bad. Um, on the hats, on the top and bottom, I made just straight bars instead of the uh, weird shaped hat that's on this other one over here. Well, let's get over here and I'll show you. You see how I put this one in a bend and then fastened it down here. I did use those clips I said I was going to use. I got rid of the just the screw holding it down and put the clips on. And it holds on there nicely. And this antenna functions perfectly. This is a 150 mile antenna. Now I want to see what this one is going to do. So again, I just stuck it on a pipe and I stuck it into the, uh, the back end of the trailer to hold it in place. And then I ran my wire down along here and going into the house. So I'm going to pause you so we don't run out of time and I'm going to go inside and do a connection and we'll run a channel scan. Okay, here we are back at the TV set. And we're going to turn the power on. And again, I got that wire running across the counter here going up the back of the TV. And oh, we got signal. That's a good sign. So we'll go to menu, Jennifer, do you like iron? and come oh, down, Never mind that. antenna, go from here? over, go down, auto program, Tonight, on the summer of May, it's and happy days, followed by the Andy Griffith show, and, and search. Okay, and I'm going to cut the volume down because uh, um, Tom uh, mentioned that on his last uh comment on the, the first video I did. Wow, look at that. We're already up to 52 channels at 25%, 75 channels at 29%, 90 at 30%. Wow. So for, for a much smaller antenna and some slight modifications to the uh, aluminum rods that I'm using, and uh, we're still going just fine. 92 at 60 percent let's see where we end up on this thing it doesn't take long to run this so i'm just going to keep running the video we've got two minutes left on this before um my 10 minutes is up and then uh and i think that's all that this uh this cell phone allows i don't think that's what youtube allows so if i have to i'll uh, i'll put a second part to this and we'll just continue it right in uh, we're up to 153. We got 159 with the other one. This is 156. $11. What a great message. I owe right. $11,000 so for my taxes. Load that volume right down. Congratulations. You only owe $2,068. Yep. And let's see. We're going to go down to the lowest channel on here is channel 2. And see if that comes in. Yep. Just perfect. So anyway, another success. And now, when I go out um, to the desert, let me pause you. Anyway, when I go out to the desert, I'm going to have this big one uh, pointing uh, for my San Diego, which is the furthest uh, channels away. And uh, that'll probably pick up some of the LA channels also. And then the other little one up here, I'm going to face that to the east, southeast. And I'm going to try to pick up all of the desert channels. They'll both be on the same pole. It won't be two separate poles. And I will be using this uh, little diplexer right here. Oh boy, I don't know why it's trying to mess with me and be foggy. But uh, that's it. Time's up. G-Bear signing off.